is Eduardo. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel today. This is a Sprite Dome inspired clown look. Perfect for Halloween, for parties, or just to scare someone in public. You know, creepy clowns are trending right now. Like, we should totally go out and riot like this. Like, don't vote for this. I try. <laughs> Anyways, so I haven't been on my YouTube channel because I've been. Because I've been really busy with school. I finally finished school. I finally finished my finals. So I finally get time to be back on YouTube. This is my Fright Dome Spire Clown look, like I just stated. It's really fun, really easy to do. The only tip I would recommend for this look is that when you're making the prosthetics, just try your best to be as soft and gentle as you can. Because once you do them and you shape them using the cotton tape and latex and toilet paper trick I teach you guys in this video, you will not be able to work with this again. These prosthetics are wearable double tie, so I'm going to try to save my prosthetics. Like, I still have my prosthetic from my other video, the slash video. I still have that prosthetic here. And, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting my YouTube channel. This look is inspired from my friend Bernardo. Bernardo, if you're watching this look, I would totally like to watch you pull this look off, because I kind of think you don't. You won't be able to. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. Comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to help me reach up to 150 subscribers by my anniversary, which is in September. And I will be doing a giveaway of some a few amazing products that I personally use in my beauty routine. Thank you so much. Comment, like, and subscribe. And let's get started. <laughs> first things first, you fix your eyebrows, glue stick, and loose powder. Once you are done with this, you're just going to get some cotton and you are going to start to shape out where you want it and you're going to apply it using medical tape. You're going to mask it around until you get the desired shape you want. I wanted a pointy shape so that's why I shaped it in a pointy format leaving my nostrils available. Once you're done with that we're going to repeat the same step in our chin. We're going to shape a triangular chin. Using liquid latex and single ply toilet paper, we are then going to first apply the liquid latex with our triangular sponge to our tape and we're going to spread it a little bit over so we could get more of a flappy latex and we're going to just coat it coat by coat with the toilet paper. Take your time, repeat this for the chin and nose. Once our prosthetic is dry, we are then start to do the paint job. We are going to apply a Snazaroo white coat all over the face, including the prosthetics. Take your time with this step. Give it some love. Once we are done with this, we are just going to go in with our NYC white loose powder, and we are just going to set it in. Using the color royal blue and using the color orchard in the Mayron Paradise pink palette, we are then going to just start making the triangles. Take your time with these diamonds.
paint only the chin of the n only the pointy of the nose red using your red paradise paint palette use the lightest red tone paint our lips we're gonna first outline and kind of fill in our lips with the black Maron paradise paint and we're gonna fill it in using a dark green for the Maron paradise paint palette as well into our next ultimate pal palette we're gonna go in with the flat brush into our color bruise purple and we're gonna just outline the purple diamond then using the color aqua we are then going to start outlining the blue side take your time give it some love and spread it all over the face to make one long line Using my Smashbox Double Exposed Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to in-depth in my eyes to make them look synced in using the black eyeshadow and a blending brush. <music> using my BH Cosmetics Detail Brush, I'm going to start making the mad facial exposures in between. Using a Smashbox round brush, I'm then going to start carving and contouring my face using the black Maron Paradise paint. <music> using a thin brush, I'm then going to dip my brush into the black and bl royal blue Maron Paradise paint and we're just going to start drawing the chin hairs. <music> using just a flat br paint brush, I'm going to dip my brush into red and gold, and we're going to start to give it a carpet diem slash a circus look just by carving out a jester look, then using a round brush, using a small detail brush and black mirror on paradise paint. We're just going to draw the dots, and you'll be done with this look. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you like this video and check me out on Instagram. Bye bye.